Hello, I'm Minefiend and welcome to the next edition of FTL. We're just about to jump and we're going to jump to Sector 6. Let's see, we've got a choice of a slug controlled nebula or a pirate controlled sector. Well, um, we've been through a nebula and it wasn't a pleasant experience. We barely got out. Uh, had, what, five hull left? So we'll try this time, we'll try the pirate controlled sector. Let's go. We need to find uh, better weaponry, really, for the Brotanic now. Uh, so this somewhat isolated region was thrown into chaos at the start of the rebellion. Even in peacetime it was always beset by pirates, but now it houses a centre of operations for countless pirate fleets. Okay. Well, <laughs> we've got one beacon we can jump to, so let's jump to that one beacon. And it's an asteroid field. Okay. A pirate ship was lying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves to attack. Turn and fight. Now they've got um, a beam weapon, which is not so good in this uh, place because of our shields, but we'll try. Um, and lasers. Okay, let's do this. Got missiles as well, haven't they? Okay, Dwendon. Usual tactic. See if we can blow through the shields with our volley and do two damage to his um, weapons bay. Gee, the more asteroids you can dodge to keep our shields higher, the better. That's great. That's great. That's okay. We're doing alright there. That won't be able to hurt us now that we've got our shields up. And his weapons are down, so let's take the chance and the opportunity to have a crack at his shields the more we can lower them the more help we'll get from the asteroids as well that, did that even hit or did it come behind the uh, cloak thing? <laughs> I have to look back on the video when I uh, re render this come on once more into his missile bay yeah that one nothing to worry about thanks to the shields but let's now go back onto his weapons see if we can take those out okay that's not so bad now I'm going to be mean and I'm going to hit his cockpit so that he can't dodge anything They send you a message. Your ship is surprisingly well equipped. Please take this and let us live. I accept their offer. Four missiles, one drone part and 29 scrap. Uh, I don't need missiles, thank you. No, nope, not going to accept that. Now, I have a choice. I could teleport on board now, because uh, I could kill those two off easy and the Mantis is damaged. But I'd be a bit worried about losing my crew now, because he's so badly damaged. It'd only take four hits and... The ship will be destroyed with my crew on there and I don't want to lose them so I'm going to um, stay where I am. Uh, ah, too late for that. Okay. Now they can't pilot at all because there's a fire in there but they've got a med bay. Oh yeah, of course I didn't see the med bay. So I wouldn't want to teleport over there anyway. <laughs> but... Let's finish them off. Sorry about that, but you're pirates. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. One missile, one drone, and 44 scrap. Good. Uh, we're still trying to save up uh, for the 240, I think it was, to be able to put another shield onto our ship. Why is that down? A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. We can attempt to try follow and help them, or keep your position and let them handle themselves, or we can use the teleporter to lock onto their life signs. Well, let's use the teleporter. 
You beam the Federation crew aboard, one gladly joins your crew, the rest wait to be dropped off at the next station. We get 40 scrap. Now because we're at full crew, we'll have to choose. Now it's only going to be a human, but a human is better than a Zoltan for me in this position. Because Zoltans only have 75 health. So I'm going to dismiss Charlie and keep Asted. Normally you would want to replace your humans with um, Mantis, Rockmen, even Slugs, um, certainly Engies. But in this case, I don't want to use the Zoltan to power anything, so I don't like doing because I've only got so little, actually so little health. You get up there and get yourself healed, John Lee. Yeah, I'm back again. Right, now we can explore a little bit better. There appears to be in a number of small stations nearby. Before you have the time to scan them, warnings go off. A rebel transporter was used in one of the stations. We've been boarded. Oh no! And they're in our med bay. Um, let's send the human. Well, that's not a good place for you guys to fight. <laughs> We were getting healed all the time. So it's just a matter of time, especially with Keeves there, slicing them down with his big claws. Ah, I love the Mantis. Not when I'm fighting them though, but when they're on my ship, yes. Brilliant. That's it. Well done, guys. Well done. You come back here. You two go back to Teleporter. Okay. No scrap or anything for that, but at least it wasn't much of a problem. We'll jump to out of the nebula now, I think. And into the rocks. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Um, you arrive at an asteroid belt to discover that a rebel automated sta scout has been stationed here, prepared to fight. He's got four shields. Uh, that looks like an ion teleporting bomb don't know what that is uh, probably a laser this isn't going to go well right oh it's got two oh that's a bigger ion oh dear yeah this is not going to go well especially considering he's got so many shields all I can do is volley his shields and hope to take them down long enough for a rock to hit them an asteroid to hit them. We're going to hope to survive long enough to be able to teleport out of here. Right. We could jump now. Let's jump. <laughs> there, there. And then back round to there. Oh, can't get across this way. That's the only way we can get across. Oh no. Oh dear, what's happened here? You jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Oh dear. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Manually search the wreckage for surviving and equipment, or avoid the risk and wait to jump away unscathed. Let's take the risk. Despite your caution, the lack of detection equipment allows debris to sm crash into your ship, damaging the hull. You salvage what can be you can and prepare to jump before anything worse happens. We get six fuel, one drone, 64 scrap and a heavy iron. That was well worth it. Well worth it. Um, okay. And I think I can afford now 180 plus 60 240. There we go. We've got maximum shields now. 
So let's jump. We have to jump to another nebula. I hate nebulas. Go away, nebulas. A pirate, arrives short, uh, pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. We can attack the pirates or ignore the ship. Uh, let's attack the pirate. He's got three shields, um, a big laser, heavy laser, and what's that? Is that a bomb? It's a missile. Okay, let's get back up, get our oxygen back up, cloak back up. We're okay. Everything's back to normal now. Just need to get their oxygen back levels back up a little bit. So again, I'm going to rely on the skill of John Lee and G to <coughs> dodge the incoming attacks. That's not going to get through my shields. Uh, this penetrates shields anyway, so that's the one we're going to worry about. It's only a little one though, so let's see how we go. Cloak. Yes. Cloak raises our evade to 105%. Not worried about his laser with our shielding. Nice dodging there, G. Good. Well done. Two in a row. Superb. Let's help you with this one. There you go. Yeah, he's dodging everything though. Ah oh, well, we couldn't dodge forever. Let's get those two in there to repair the cloak. We'll have repaired it by the time it's ready to be used anyway. Okay, I'm not having much luck here with the shields. So let's focus on his helm and see if we can stop him dodging everything. <laughs> no! Dodge the missile again. How many missiles have you got? <laughs> I wonder if they can run out of missiles. I don't actually know. If any of you guys know, then please let me know. That's the med bay, so our repair crew can go around and sort that out. Right, at least he's taking hits now. So now I can get the shields. Oops. Hopefully, do one damage to shields. To go and repair that for me, please. Yep, a little bit. And now you're healed, get back to the middle. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit of a, a stalemate here at the moment. He seems to have run out of missiles though. He's not firing even though it's green. So they can run out of missiles. Good to know. Very good to know. How can you offer me missiles if you're not firing them at me? They hail you. We realise our ship is no match for yours. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. They offer me four fuel, four missiles, and 32 scrap. Hmm. Not so short of fuel. 
I don't need the missiles at all and I think I might get more scrap if I better blow them up so let's see how we go oh I pressed the wrong damn it oh well <laughs> what will be will be you was meant to survive then I pressed the wrong thing I was going to try and blow them up yeah okay well let me get oxygen get back up a little bit and off we go looking for a store where we can wow we've got to go a long way around there very uncomfortable nebula uh, better place this one uh, a small pirate ship messages you that sure is a shiny ship you've got there <laughs> shiny ship firefly reference yes you fire a warning shot across the bow and they respond hey no need for violence it was just a comment <laughs> I would not fire at Malcolm Captain Malcolm definitely not the Serenity is one of my oh, favorite favorite films all right okay let's jump oh no you arrive to find yourself extremely close to a star you receive a message from a pirate ship I'm glad you've arrived our ship is damaged and we were getting desperate I hope you don't mind if we take yours hostiles detected on board your ship so they teleported on okay right well I could just go in and fight them but I think what I'll do is I'll force them to move right you two into there Pirates burn. Keeps get some healing. You can go through and fight that. I'm actually, yeah, you go through and fight that. Once Keeps is ready, I'm going to send Keeps through into here, and he'll kill those two before they can do anything. Come on, go get him, Keeves. Don't let him run away. Go in there and help. There you go. Okay, you guys come down and repair this, the cloak. You should go back up. Right. Come on, get that cloak repaired before the next solar flare is imminent. And I can jump. One, two, three, four, five jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Should be able to make it. Let's try it. A refueling station is a beacon. We can purchase fuel here. Well, fuel at this point, where there are only two each, is very, very um, cheap. So I'm going to buy the six even though I had 20 12 scrap for 6 fuel is well worth it once you arrive at the location of the distress call a civilian ship hails you thanks for responding to our beacon our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed could you lead us there? Uh, yes we're going to I mean it's always worthwhile to agree to help anyway because sometimes you get paid a little bit up front whether you can help or not so let's lead them there See, we've got 32 scrap now, so whether we take them there or not, we've come out better off. Take this bit of scrap as a down payment. We use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. Got a quest uh, marker in the next sector. Okay. Put you two guys back there. Put you guys in there, ready to teleport. Two, three, four. Yeah, go on, we'll try it. 
An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches you. Hand over one of your crew members and the rest of you can go free unharmed. Draw straws and send a crew member over to the slavers. Or never surrender. Well, of course, we're never going to surrender. Uh, we might also be able to swap Asted for... Um, hopefully a Mantis or another rock. We'll see. Now, they've got three aliens on board, but one's a Mantis and one's a Rockman, so... They match us for that, although Keebs does more damage now. Yeah, Keebs actually does 10% more damage in combat. So, I'm just going to focus on taking out the weapons, first of all. The old tactic. Four hits onto a two shield, that means two damage to the room below it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that, I should have waited for the big laser. I should have waited for the big laser. Oh well. Gonna take a bit of a pounding then. But it's he's only gonna be able to get through one hit anyway. Um and that's assuming that G doesn't do uh, uh, dodge any of the the bolts, so maybe not as bad as I was expecting. Oh yes, well done G. Well done. Fantastic. That's better than I could have possibly hoped for. Superb pilot in there. Yeah, that's all right. Right. Let's now send a volley in. Um, there we go. Send a volley into his cockpit. Stop some of that dodging that's going on. Let's help. Close the doors. Right, he's not going to dodge the same now. Why was I thinking I was hitting the shields? I was hitting the weapons then, wasn't I? Now let's hit the shields. Only took a, a pound in there. Um, go there. And Asted get in there and help. Because he's got to fix the breach before he runs out of oxygen. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. Now, this is a bit of a gamble if I take this because it may be that it's somebody I don't want so therefore I don't get anything from this combat but I'm going to risk it on the chance it might be a mantis you never know Oh, <laughs> I got an achievement, United Federation because they have all the different species on <laughs> even for a moment it's an NG great he will repair things quicker than Asted can he's useless in combat he does half damage but he's a repair Oh, she's a pit repair, Mara. Right, Mara. Get over there and, and start helping. So we've got now one of every species. We've got um, an Engi, a Rockman, a Slugman, <laughs> a Mantis, a Zoltan, and humans. Wow. Okay, back over here. Then you're in the middle of the ship and you've noticed at least the distance to go. Really, I suppose I should have you here because then you've got all the um, vital systems, but... Oh, John Lee needs healing. Darn it! At first it appears you've arrived at an empty system, but a ship appears from behind a planet and hails you. Ha ha, I am the Dread Pirate Tuco, prepare to die. I hope you enjoy that one, G, because that's the reference to the Princess Bride. <laughs> yes, lovely. Okay. Let's get back up in our engines. And let's rely on our cloak and our pilots and engineers to get us through the first volley. And we will try to take down the shields a little bit. 
Come on, come on, here we go. Perfect. What a great now that missile I'm definitely going to cloak for. We're not getting those shields down, we need those shields down. And the big missiles come in. Good job guys. Ah, we've, we've, that's the best pilot I've ever had. I don't think I've ever dodged so many things. Brilliantly, brilliant job G. Well done. Uh, right, his shields are down a little bit now, so let's do the two hit. Actually, no, it'd be worthwhile killing off the shields while I can. Go on, I'll fire one more burst into the shields here. Nope, that didn't kill him. Uh oh, please dodge. Oh. That's alright, we've now got an NG. The NG will get that repaired very quick. In fact, so quickly that the slug can go and help with the shields. Oh, and we've got him on fire now. Perfect. The slugman, uh, the rock crew man will put that out without taking any damage, but it keeps them busy. How many missiles have you guys got? You come and help Mara? Yes, perfect. Damaged and on fire. So let's fire into where they all are. In fact, are the rockmen damaged as well? Can't tell. They are now, but they're not dead. But, that would be a one on one fight. And Keeves would slaughter them. Should I risk it? It's what I got a teleporter for. Keeps, keeps, keeps. You're doing ten percent more damage. I don't want to. No, I'm not risky. Well, it's on fire. Three fuel, four missiles, and thirty-one scrap. So three fuel and thirty-one scrap. That's good. That's good. But I'm not going to accept it just to see if we get more out of it. They're not going to take any damage from the fire, but they are going to take damage from being that. Three fuel and 31 scrap. One missile, one drone. I should have taken the offer. Would have been far better. Oh well. <laughs> um, never mind. We desperately need a store. We are not going to... Oh, there you go. Oh, and they have a burst laser. I need that. That fires too. But it takes 11 seconds to fire. And what we got requires one power, only fires one, but takes 10 seconds to fire. Okay, I'm going to sell that. I'm going to sell the heavy iron. I'm going to buy the burst laser. Repair all. Now I don't think I can actually use the... I think I need 50 scrap before I can actually use this unless I take off one of these. I can do that. I'm going to rearrange them. I'm going to take off one of them and put on the burst laser. So now I've still got only four shots. And take off auto fire now because now they have to be volleyed at the same time. 
Uh, but as soon as I get a bit of extra scrap, uh, Nick me is damaged as well. As soon as I get a bit of extra scrap, 50 is going to go into the weapons. And then I can take down the Medibay for the extra power. So let's see if we can survive to the exit. There we go. Uh, you've arrived at Long Range Beach and when the F uh, Beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to be refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Well, we'll demand the surrender of their goods. And they're still going to fight. Okay, well, he's got a big missile. And they're going to try and run away. He's got a big missile. So I'm going to wait until they all turn green before telling them what to fire on. Right. Fire on the cockpit. Because that will stop him dodging and it will stop <coughs> um, him getting away. If I get through three with that and hit with the last one and he doesn't dodge it. Which he did. Dodge. Also with cloaking, it stops their weapons charging up on you. Uh, so it's very useful to have a cloak, and it's useful to have a cloak for as long as possible. Because the longer you're cloaked, they, they have to stop charging. Oh, come on. He's going to teleport away. Don't think I'm going to be able to stop him. My jump's ready, so his FTL should be ready any second as well. Right. One last attempt. Let's try here. Nope. Can we dodge the missile? Yes. Good piloting there. Jump imminent. Not going to be able to stop them. Simple last attempt. Last attempt. Don't know, they might even jump before the, the lasers hit them. Oh well, never mind. Um, we're on to the next sect sector now. We'll be jumping through to the, the penultimate sector. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. I've been Mindfeed. You guys have been wonderful. Um, if you've liked the video, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment. Um, and I'll see you on the next time. Bye for now.